Hello and welcome to the tutorial on comparing numbers. In this tutorial we're going to do numbers up to 10. Now the first thing to do here is to introduce the different symbols that are used. We have one symbol which looks like this. It's pointing this way. We also have another symbol which looks like this. It's pointing the other way. Now you'll recognize the third symbol. That's the equals. That means it's the same. Now the best way to illustrate what each of these symbols are is to work through a simple example. So let's do that. So let's suppose we have oranges and apples. So let's start with, on the left hand side, let's say we have an orange over here, we've got another orange over here, we've got another one here, and we've got another one here. So there are our oranges. Now we're going to compare them with green apples. So let's work through over here. We've got a green apple over here. We've got another one here. And we've got one more here. So here we've got oranges on the left and apples on the right. Now which of these symbols do you think goes between them? Well on this side here, and let's just count them. We've got one, two, three, four. So we've got four oranges. On the right hand side we've got one, two, three apples. So there are more oranges than apples. Now the symbol which goes in the middle is this one. There are four oranges and four oranges are more than green apples more than three green apples. Now how do we remember which symbol to use? Well the way I tend to do is I tend to see which way the arrow is pointing. Now it's pointing this way. So therefore the what is over here is less than what is over here. So I look at this symbol and say it is pointing and there's the point of it. It is pointing to the smaller number. And in this case it is pointing to three apples. Now let's look at a, another example. Now let's suppose over here this time we have one orange and we have one more. So we've got two oranges here. But on the right hand side we've still got three green apples. One, two, and three. Now which symbol do you think belongs in the middle over here? Well, what we can do is let's count them. We've got one, two, so there are two oranges. How many green apples are there? Well there's one, two, three. There are more green apples then there are oranges. So the symbol we look at at the top row, which one do you think goes here? Remember it has to point to the smaller number. Which is the smaller number? It's over here. It's two oranges. So it goes like this. So it's pointing to the smaller number. There's the point. The arrow is pointing to the smaller number. So two oranges is less than three apples. And that's a symbol. Now the equal sign, we don't have to go through that because you know what that is. But let's work through the example anyway. So let's say over here we have one orange, we've got a second one, and we've got a third one. Now the green apples, we've got one over here, we've got another one here, and we've got another one here. 
Now let's count them. We've got one, two, three oranges. How many green apples do you have? One, two, three. So we've got three green apples. So which sign do you think appears in the middle? Well, they're exactly the same. Three oranges and three green apples. The sign in the middle is equals because they are the same. So that is how we use symbols to identify which is less than and which is more than and which is equal to.